those who become are those who never settle. They know that there is always a better and greater version. Believers, in times of adversity, remember to anchor your faith in God's unwavering love and promises. Trust in His divine plan and find strength in His presence. May this message serve as a source of encouragement and reaffirm your unshakable relationship with Him. Remain blessed as you listen. Moody. Many of you have read about him, right? D.L. Moody was a mighty evangelist of God. And he came and preached for decades. When D.L. Moody died, sir, after 10 years, they decided to do a like a little census to follow up the converts of D.L. Moody. Please listen. This is, this is not an exaggerated statement. Hallelujah. And they found out that only one out of ten converts of D.L. Moody were still standing in the faith. Are you getting what I'm saying? I respect him. I honor him. Hallelujah. It was, look at such a great man. After laboring, they found out that most of the people who were coming out in his meetings, only one out of ten remained safe and were still in the faith. We are not talking of people who built ministries. Those who were still eligible to make heaven according to the, the standards of the word of God. What happened to all the emotionalism that happened in those meetings? And then they took the same census for a man called Charles G. Finney. Hallelujah. And they found out most of the great men you see, most of the great men, they were products of that man's revival. When you got born again in his meeting, you hear everything that keeps you in the faith for life. Something is wrong with our gospel. It's not incorrect, but it's not complete either. There are missing sides that we must couple together. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. God is a loving God, but God is also a just God. Hallelujah. What I've just told you now is called the gospel of the kingdom. It switches dimension and lets you know that Jesus is not only a savior, but he's a king. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We have allowed people to do all kinds of things. There are believers today who have all kinds of pornography on their phones, their laptops. They watch it. And the moment the Holy Spirit wants to convict them, they say, I'll never feel guilty. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Tomorrow they go back and do it again. Somebody goes, come on now. Let's, let, I, you, know, you trust me. I love you too much not to tell you the truth. People sleep around and do all kinds of things. And yes, God is a forgiving God. There is a difference between a challenge in your life and the spirit of rebellion at work in your life. Rebellion is a perpetual, willful, continual state of violating God's principles. And the consequence is hellfire. I don't care whether you're a pastor or whether you are whatever. Please take what I'm saying seriously. Hallelujah. Paul, the one who brought what we know as the Pauline epistles. If his gospel was so pleasant, I have a question. Why did they stone him? Have you ever wondered? Why did they stone him? What did he say that got the people angry? That they stoned him? Hallelujah. Why did they behead James? It wasn't just because they were angry at them. There was a content that we are missing today. And that's the reason. I'm telling you, this is why many believers are not powerful. Anything comes and just throws us down. Because there is a content of the gospel that needs to be re-examined. Now don't carry your zeal and go and listen to every message. A man of God is preaching and you get up and say, I know better. That's foolishness. I hope you understand that God is granting us maturity. But I am just telling you that 
as much as the grace message is good it only makes sense when it is incorporated as the whole truth there are many other components of the kingdom what's the formula for water the chemical formula for water is what h2o is that true just add one more um what now of oxygen it becomes h2o2 what is that are you seeing that same thing that can be water now for adding something wrong it can become poison at once and kill you everything in the kingdom must be taught within the dimensions that jesus kept them hallelujah i'm saying this because there are people who will be listening to these teachings all across and some of you god is going to trust you with ministries you will have your churches please don't be afraid of being criticized you must stand and teach the truth are you getting me i remember somebody who sent me a text one day and said please um i have a problem with you praying for people how do believers just manifest and you say you are casting out demons out of them is that really true I just sent the person a text. I said, I love you. We see from different perspectives in the kingdom. And God will help us. We operate from the perspectives that we see. And that was all I said. Praise the Lord. Ah, yeah, yeah. Time is a revealer. I hope you know that. Time. Time. There are some things you should never talk about. Time. Just allow time to pass. Time. That's why sometimes you say something and God keeps quiet. Hmm. People just say, you will never make it. And God never responds. And you are saying, God, God has already spoken. Time is a language in this realm. It can speak so loud. Brothers and sisters, when we started this thing, you are seeing. I cannot tell you how many people criticize the things we are doing. They say it won't last. I, 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 I saw many zealous pastors. Those of you who were around those times, you know that it was madness in this side of God's kingdom. Everybody was doing everything. People carrying briefcases and ladies all around them. I am this, I am that. People scrounging to go for radio programs and all of that. And some of us look like fools. But he has chosen the foolish things. With everything, with everything, we will shout for your glory. With everything, with everything, we will shout for your praise. Oh. If I mislead you and I teach you error, the God of heaven is going to judge me. Even if I don't love you, I love my destiny. Are you getting what I'm saying? The Bible says, ask for the ancient paths and walk in it. I'll never forget one minister. I've, I've shared with you the story. That guy's ministry was grounded. Things were tight there were all kinds of demonic things but that guy would never accept that there was a demonic problem no no there's nothing wrong nothing was happening and one day he summoned courage to come for counseling and so as soon as he entered i saw a spirit enter with him and he just came just sat down and then he was telling me all kinds of things things are not exactly working this and that i said my brother i need to pray for you ah guy felt embarrassed his, his ego you know and you know we get deceived because you touch somebody and the person falls you just believe that it means god has finished working on you is that true and i was going to pray for the person the last thing he could remember was that he got down on his knees right scattered the place scattered the room and i i i, I said look at this is the same person who will argue and maybe insult me and write articles and write all kinds of things 
this guy got up went back to his ministry and boom goodness how a man can sit down in ignorance for years whereas in two minutes of humility your destiny can open up how how believers in the body have sat down in ignorance their salvation is closer to them that they can never see but it takes meekness to receive the word you can be dying there are families that can be dying in situations whereas the arm of the lord is not short that it can save. what is keeping you from entering the next level of your life could it be that that brokenness there is nothing wrong to accept that oh this is what i used to believe but i've seen clearer now Lord, help your body in the name of Jesus Christ.